Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage time again. Spotted this one in the charity shop and there was absolutely no way I was going to leave it. I had to buy it. Even if the car doesn't work, that's a good sized solar panel there. And it's £3 this kit. A hydrogen car. I did spot on the label here, and I don't know if the camera will focus on that. That actually says £80 on the original label. I'll have to look it up on the web. But £80 is a quite expensive toy, even if it's an educational toy. So me parting with £3 for it. So I say, even if it doesn't work, it should have some good bits in it. So inside we've got the user manual, which is pretty handy. It's already been assembled, so there's some gaps. So I hope all the bits that are in the gaps are already in the car or in here. Right, what are the battery's like. Well, they don't look corroded, so that's a good start. Got the wires. Car looks okay. sure what that's for but I'm sure it's important and a solar panel and a bit of plastic whatever that's for oh that's the stand so three pounds for that solar panel would be worth it on its own but we'll have to try and rig it up and see if it works won't we I like that I'll do a quick summary and then we'll do a final run because every time I've run this so far it's got better. So H Racer from the charity shop cost me £3. On the back of the box the original label says £80, that's £80, £80. so that seems like a bargain to me. Even if it doesn't work the solar panel that comes with it is going to be worth £3 to me anyway. Uh, it's a bit redundant at the moment because it's now evening time and the sun's gone down so I'm now running it off batteries, it's in a DC position. I think there's an air leak somewhere because the little balloon in there doesn't hold the gas in there. When I pump it right up it escapes again. So the best we can do is a run with just the air that's in the balloon before it's fully inflated. Air, I say. Hydrogen gas. But it all works. And as I say, each run I do with it, it gets better. It did help that I realised that the wheels were actually binding on the inside. So I've trimmed them a bit so they now run freely. So I'll just uh, suck a bit more gas out. So I'm actually sucking the gas out of the balloon all the way through the system and then when that balloon's full up again I'll pump this gas back into it so it's as full as it can possibly be. I'm just waiting for that to fill up. It doesn't take long because it's not filling right up. <laughs> the little balloon should fill the plastic container that it's in right up and it doesn't. And if I now switch that off, push this, uh, this hydrogen gas back into it, I don't know if you can see but that's filled the balloon right up but it's already deflating again. Anyway, we'll take this, 
into the kitchen. I'm losing gas all the time that I'm fiddling around doing this. Okay, let it go. Switch it on. And that's now flying. Great. That's five metres of my kitchen easily, and that would have kept going. There we go, that's still going. I just picked it up from the end of the kitchen there. I don't know if you can see the balloon deflating. about it. So, success. It works. Charity Shop Gold. I like it.